All right guys, C4 Motorsports here. Today, Christmas came really late. Got my uh, seat belts in and my uh, new arm restraints for this year. So we're gonna go ahead and install the seat belt, the seat, and uh, I'll take you guys through that journey. If you haven't already, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll get right into it. All right, so I thought I'd just go ahead and show you what all came in the package for the seat belt. It, uh, it's got the, the crotch belt, and it's got all the, depending on how you mount your seat belt, it has all the uh, brackets for it. Sometimes people just loop the actual strap around whatever, sometimes you use a bracket. The crotch one has them all on it, so I don't use many of those unless I have to. This is the latch part of the belt. It goes across the waist and has the latch built in, Velcro, that's kind of nice. Might be kind of hard to get to with the gloves on though, maybe. But anyhow, there's that part. And this would be the, the over the shoulder parts. I wear a Hans device when I'm in the, in the sprint car anyway, so I don't have to worry about it being a big, big wide belt for comfort, but it still works in the Hans device that I have, so. These are the two shoulder mounts, Speedway brand belts. These expire every two years, so I don't get good name brand ones, you know, these are, these more than meet the safety specs. They're fairly cheap, so I stick with those. Uh, this year I am required by the rules to have arm restraints on, so I went ahead and bought some some uh, Simpson arm restraints. I'm just a little guy. I got little tiny chicken wing arms, so I had to have these things, but these go on up in here, and then they cinch down. I don't know if I can do that all one-handed with the camera going, but anyhow, they cinch down. And then this part down here, once, once you got both of them on, both of these parts hook in to the latch part on your seat belt. And that keeps your arms, if you were to happen to roll the, the race car over, it keeps your arms inside the car because we don't run window nets or nothing on these things like some of the trucks and stuff had so there's just no room for it and you'd never be able to get out of the dang thing if you did so I get it but I didn't have any so I went ahead and ordered them so those are brand new this year and good to go now keeps me safe so for now though I'm, you know, I don't need to show you how to install those because those just go on me but I'll uh, I'll take you through the seat belt I'm going to take you over to the car and show you where, where the first one's going. Alright, so the uh, shoulder straps get mounted right to this bar here, both of them, and then they'll run through the seat. So that's where the, the shoulder strap ones go. Okay, and then right down here on this bar here, that hole's for the seat to mount. There's one over there for the seat to mount, and then that crotch belt goes right through here, right around this bar. And runs up through the seat there and then the side belts they just mount mount right on that bar and right on that bar so I'm gonna go ahead and get you all set up in a spot where you're out of my way and I can show you how to how to do it around the bars I'll probably show you on this one up here since it's just all around easier for both of us to be able to see okay so what you want to do now is you just run it over the top. Move this back a ways. Run it over the top. I like to have this part right on my right on my Hans device. So right on your shoulder basically. So you're gonna move your uh, we we'll call it a buckle, I guess. Run that down. And then you take this end of the strap. And you kind of you just follow that back through there, how it just runs in and comes back out. Do that. 
give, give yourself a little little room, run some of it back in there so you end up with a with a loop like that. Give you a little bit of room to play. So you can get that in there and you can real carefully feed it back down through. It's kind of tricky sometimes. Sometimes you have to call it a dirty name or whisper sweet nothings in its ear and then it'll go in. But Just like that, and you tighten it up. And I like it, I like my buckle to be right right on the metal there. And that should be plenty, to get, it has to run, remember it's gotta run through the seat, and then it's gotta be able to buckle in front of you down here. So, I, I got this part, this is where, as the driver, you'll cinch it up right here. Pull that tight and that cinches you up. So, I keep that, I keep it pretty well not all the way out, but pretty close. I leave about, I don't know, about yay much, about three inches from the buckle to the end of it sticking out there. That way I know that's going to be plenty long enough to get over my shoulder and in there. So now, right there's your tag that tells you when it's valid through. So this one says December 2020. So it says valid until December 31st, 2020. So they're gonna want to see that when they go when you get to the track and they inspect your seat belts and all your safety equipment, they're gonna want to see that. So don't don't try and hide it because they'll just not let you race. So and then you'll end up with a bunch of extra. Some people tuck it in, some people cut it off and just kind of melt the end, just like they did from the factory. I I could really care less either way. Sometimes I'll tuck it in, sometimes I'll just cut it and then and then remelt it. Leave a little extra in case it, you know, you know, in case it kind of goes back in there a little bit. You don't want it to, you don't want it to be too short, you know, or if you have to adjust it later or whatever. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tuck it in here out of the way in case, you know, at a later date I decide to get my seat in there is all of a sudden it's not long enough. I'm going to need to make it longer. So don't cut it right away because you'll end up screwing yourself. So I'm gonna grab the other belt. We can do the same thing right here. Okay, guys. Something worth noting is the buckles. This is the latch part itself. Okay. Now I'll show you this up close later when I'm sitting in there and I'll buckle it up and I'll show you. But there's, you see how this is. This is off to one side. It's it's bent like that. That's because this other side. So this, this one here is your right side. This one's your left side. Oops. That one's your left side. And so it doesn't take up so much room on your latch. Because remember you got these two, plus you got the ones that wrap around your, your waist and then your crotch belt. They all have to get clipped in, plus your arm restraints now, all have to get clipped in at the same spot. So you don't want it to be all bulky or you have you know, big gap in it like that or something, you know. So these are designed to go like this with the crotch belt in between them. So that's why they're that way in case you didn't know. So let me go ahead and, like I said, three inches roughly. It ain't got to be perfect. Get your, get your uh, buckle all the way up here where you want it. Leave yourself a little wiggle room because remember you got to shove it up in there. And leave yourself the leave yourself the nice big play area there. And you wrap this underneath, and you shove it back up through here. I'll try to get you a close up on that. Let me see how well you can see it. I come under the bar, back up, back up into the belt. So it'll come right back up into here, and then you just curl it back and you run it back down out the other side, not the side you went in, but the other side. Just like the, the belt was already through there. You're just going on the inside of it. You pull that through, get your buckle where you want it on your, on your seat belt. 
match it pretty well close to the other side, close as you can. So now you pull all your excess, not all of it, but most of it. Pull it all, and it doesn't pull too bad. It's not terrible. But don't short yourself now. And you know, once you've done this once or twice, it, you pick it up. It really isn't that difficult. About like riding a bike, once you do it once, you, you figure it out, you know, you don't really forget how to do it. But like I said, it comes with those little clip things, and that's just a different way of mounting it. If you had, if I had a hole here, instead of, instead of just a bar, it had just had a hole through it, all you do is you, you do the same thing with those, those clips that are on that crotch belt, and you just bolt them on instead but you still got to run it through the exact same way but instead of this bar being here you're running it through the clip the same way so six and one half dozen in the other this is the way i prefer it because i don't like you know that sh that little edge on those on those clips so i prefer to run mine this way but it probably doesn't make that much of a difference to be honest with you but just the way I do it, so that's the way I'm showing you. I put the latch part it would be on the right side because last year I had it on the left side but I had it was a different cab I can only get out I can't get out on the on the right side of this I can only get out on the left side so now with this especially this being a velcro is I can I can just grab that with my left hand and pull out I can grab it with the right too but it, it seems more natural to me when I sat down and thought about it, how to get out in a hurry if I need to, you know, with how this, this cockpit's laid out. So on this one, I think it'll be easier to go this way. So that's just the way I did it. But just threw it around that bar. It was a little dark, so I didn't really show that to you guys. But same way I did all the other ones. I'm gonna go ahead and put the one on the other side now and throw the seat in it. Here's the seat I'm going to run. Nothing special, a little dirty, a little dusty, but I'm going to throw this in and try to see if you guys can see it without staring at my butt the whole, the whole video. So sometimes it's kind of a pain in the butt to get them in there, but hopefully it won't be so bad this year. The trucks are really bad. See how I like that. Seems awful low. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to make it a little taller. A little bit. Not much. I don't want to go too crazy because then I won't be able to. I'll have to, I have to have two inches of clearance between the top of my helmet and the, and the bottom of the roll cage. It has to have two inches. So I can't go up too much, but I definitely want to come up a little. My knees are almost pointing at the sky. So, so we'll, we'll, we'll just bump it up a little bit here. In case you're wondering, yes, that's how I gotta get in and out of it. Okay, what I didn't show you 
is I went ahead and put the seat in. It's just kind of, it's bolted in, but it's not tight. It's just finger tight, just to mock things up. I put the cover on and uh, got all the belts ran through it and stuff. So it's sitting in there. I'm just going to climb in it and see how well the belts fit and everything before I go tightening all the bolts up permanently. So.